Elsewhere in Parliament, members there have asked leadership of the House to strengthen the level of security in Parliament. The call comes on the heel of a bust suicide attempt by a middle-aged man. First Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Joe Osewusu, has meanwhile blamed the breaches of security in the House on members of Parliament who themselves fail to cooperate with that security. Uh, went on recess, uh, uh, not not recess though. Um, when the house closed its session yesterday, there was a suicide attempt uh, by a 35-year-old man from the Kwesimintim uh, constituency, Kujo Mensa, who apparently said that he has been trying to seek audience from uh, his MP, but he has uh, been unsuccessful at it. It's been quite a hectic one for him, he recalls. These are stories that he's been telling the security officials here in Parliament yesterday who had arrested him after that botched suicide attempt. But this morning, the security situation in Parliament has been a bit heightened up a bit. Uh, on your entry into the yard, if you're coming, let's say, from the state house side, the uh, security men are there, manned by the police, doing a thorough check of both MPs and then visitors. If you're coming from the conference center side, it's the same thing as well. But when you get, uh, when you get towards the first car park, the state house car park, there is a barricade. The policemen are there, about three of them. They have to search you. If you're an MP, they search your car. If you are a visitor, you are still searched before you go and park at the car park. If you are walking towards the chamber area, you would be searched as well. When you get a, a bit towards the chamber, still the same thing. There are about three different stages of security check before you get very close to the main entrance into the building that contains the Parliament House. Well, some members of the House have been recounting what happened yesterday. Uh, they have been asking the leadership of the House to uh, look at the security situation. As a matter of fact, there is a suggestion that there is a breakdown of security within Parliament. Uh, the first Deputy Speaker of Parliament, uh, Joe Say, uh, Jose Wusu has disagreed to a large extent about it, but then there is a need, as uh, he, he puts it, the leadership of the House should look at uh, how they will be able to strengthen the security and the level of check that is given to both members of the House and then also uh, 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 visitors who come in. Let me engage the Member of Parliament for Bulsa South, the Honorable. Um, Clement Abakam, uh, Dr. Clement Apak. You better Doc, say my name I, right. I, I know, I mean, it's been Very well, back it's and understandable. Forth. Yes, yes, but Dr. Apak, uh, will you say that there's a breakdown in security here in Parliament? Well, I, I, I would say so uh, if we were speaking yesterday, uh, largely because what occurred yesterday shouldn't have occurred and uh, it wasn't the only incident, as uh, you heard me make my comment on the floor. We have had good reason to complain. Sometimes you are in your office and suddenly people come in there trying to sell you donuts and all kinds of products. And you wonder how they got access to Job 600 and how they got access uh, to, to your office. Sometimes the elevators that are supposed to be designated for only MPs you find persons who are not members of parliament, they are not even parliamentary staff, or some of our research assistants using the same elevators. So what happened yesterday is a wake-up call for all of, all of us. Mm. Yeah, it is true that uh, security seems to have been beefed, as you indicated, with uh, the multiple checkpoints that you have identified. But did we have to wait? for what occurred yesterday to occur for security in parliament Definitely to be heightened. Deputy Speaker, I mean, after the question was posed in the House by the Honorable something, he wanting the leadership or the House to apprise um, members of the House on what happened yesterday and what steps they are going to take to mitigate such occurrences. The first Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Jose, also blamed colleague MPs as well for allowing some of these people entry to, to, to a very large extent, he said that some MPs have not even been cooperative with the security. Well, that is uh, subject to debate. Uh, if we take the instance of yesterday, 
I don't think that had to do with an MP allowing the said 35-year-old gentleman who threatened to commit suicide. As uh, you have ri rightly reported, uh, he came to see his MP, and he has the right to come here. Uh, so do every Ghanaian. But uh, we must make sure that those who come don't come here to harm themselves or to cause harm to other Ghanaian citizens, including members of parliament. So yes, we must agree that security is a responsibility of all of us, both the security agencies and service personnel, as well as members of parliament. And indeed, uh, if it is the case that some MPs are guilty of what the first deputy speaker narrated, they should also be up and doing, because by not doing lay down security procedures and protocol, what we are then doing is to endanger ourselves as members of parliament and members of the public who come here legitimately lawfully to engage with their members what of parliament do expect, what do you expect to change immediately and going forward in terms of security arrangements within the house and even outside of it well what we are seeing uh, is a uh, refreshing and i am hoping that uh, you know commander freeman tete my own former student at the university of ghana uh, and his men will sustain uh, the posture that we saw this morning. And you see, it is important to let the people know that the arrangements have changed because of the larger challenges that we believe we are facing as a nation with regards to security arrangements generally. And this is obviously a target. So anyone who means to do harm to the good people of this country targeting parliament and the way it was yesterday, clearly would have gotten away with it, and we, we would have borne the consequences. The yes, you complained at the point in time about the level of rigorous check that, uh, that you were subjected to. Do you think as a measure, uh, members of parliament themselves should be subjected to that rigorous check just as the public? Well, I, I think that because we work here, and this is our environment, it clearly would not be too much to ask that the level of scrutiny of members of parliament should be the same as members of the public who are not MPs. You never know anybody's yes, intention. Yes, this is not to say yeah. that there couldn't be an aberration. Mm -hmm. But the point I'm making is that even if that was the case, this should have commenced mm -hmm. before yesterday's incident. Mm -hmm. But be as it may, uh, better late than never. We are now seeing that the security personnel uh, have taken up the challenge and we would also do our best to complement their effort mm. by doing what we know we should do mm. and not doing what would promote indiscipline and insecurity in as far as the presence of uh, parliament are concerned all right many thanks to you dr clement uh, clement apart you want to say I don't know, name, Abbas Abbas yeah, absolutely absolutely <laughs> dr clement abasim abasinap Abbasina Apak is a member of parliament for Bursa South. And well, I mean, Luce, um, just like he has indicated, the security situation within the parliament area uh, has gone up a little bit. But the expectation of parliament is that uh, members of the public would cooperate with them as they are trying to put in the measures now to. Uh, prevent any future occurrence for somebody entering into the house to commit any crime whatsoever. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Parliament Accra. And in the studio, my name is Grace Hamwa Asai. So if you're wondering what happened yesterday that's making the members of parliament call for intensified security, then a 35-year-old man was arrested after attempting to commit suicide in parliament. The man, identified as Kojo Mensa, was restrained by security personnel after trying to jump from the public gallery. A man from Kwesimiti in the Western region had sat through parliamentary proceedings on Thursday. But just when the speaker adjourned for the day, he got up from his seat and attempted to jump from the public gallery into the main chamber. Officers from Parliament's protection unit in the chamber quickly moved in to foil his intended action. He was transferred to the ministry's police station.
commander of the Parliament Protection Unit, Superintendent Freeman Teti said, a criminal investigation has begun into his conduct. We have a very solid security arrangement, so I don't think it will change anything at all. These are the challenges as police officers we face. The reason why we are here is to handle security within and immediate out of parliament. So that is our responsibility, and we are doing it very well. It's a criminal case that is being taken care of by the police. So details can only be given by the Ministry of Police. And we are referring the case to the Ministry of Police Station to conduct investigation. Vice Chairman of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Defense and the Interior, Colin Sowuzwa Mankwa is of the view the incident was an attempt to bring the image of the legislature into disrepute. It's not done anywhere. And we are not supposed to come here with party colors. And the fact that the young man was wearing, I mean, party colors, it tells you that it was well orchestrated just to embarrass parliament and for that matter, the state. It is unclear why he attempted suicide.